Hey, I'm Rasha, a senior data analyst in investment banking. And if you're new here, welcome. Today, I'm taking you through a real work from home day in my life, from debugging and meetings to automation and a bit of chaos in between. If you're into tech, productivity, or just curious about what it's like to work as a data analyst, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more. The first thing I do when I start my workday is check my emails and any important messages from the team. Then I monitor our servers and automation to make sure everything runs smoothly overnight. No failed jobs or any unexpected errors. Once that's clear, I dive into the daily database tables to get a sense of what's the data telling us today. It's like reading the morning news, but for numbers. So right now, I'm working on new batch files and automation. A batch file is basically a script that runs a series of commands automatically, usually in Windows. You can think of it as a to-do list for your computer. For example, instead of manually opening apps, moving files, running a query, or launching a tool, I can automate that with just one file. This is super useful in enterprise environment for tasks like database backup, launching software, or cleaning logs, anything recurring. It saves me time, reduces errors, and makes your process repeatable. Around this time of the day, I like to take a little pause, not just to be scrolling around on my phone or grabbing a stack, but to actually do something that adds to my growth. Whether that's journaling, catching up on the new tech trend, or diving into something new, I'm always learning. So guys, during lunch break, what I like to do right now is just take a nice walk because I realize working a 9 to 5, sitting down all day is like a lot. So I don't, I was like tracking my steps and I barely walk. I had like 2,000 steps a day and that's like, like literally not enough. So by walking during my lunch break, since my breakfast was super late, I'm able to get to like 6,000 steps. So that's like way better. 6,000 plus like a 2,000 that I do throughout the day, which is like 8,000. We're almost at the normal 10,000 steps a day. And especially today, it's nice because I'm not alone. Usually my husband will work in person when I work from home. So our like schedules, like for the hybrid is like complete opposite. But for today, like he was able to work from home with me. So it's been nice having coffee together, working together. By the way, he's a computer engineer and he's doing a master degree in cybersecurity. So if you guys have any questions about those fields, you can also ask us in the comments and we'd be really happy to answer them for you. Yeah, I'm a little bit like out of breath right now. Babe, babe, huh? careful. Ew, babe, you have a huge bug. I'm not touching it, I'm Where? sorry. It's like here. Ah! Is it gone? No, it's on, ah, it flies. What is that? <laughs> Guys, I deal with bugs all day. So I deal with bugs at work on my desk. And now I'm taking a walk and I have to still deal with bugs. What is this? The grind never stops. For this afternoon, what I'll be working on is uh, part two of a big project I delivered. So I did deliver them the first version and there's like some stuff that they want, like add-ons. So I'll be working on this. Um, I do have two sprints to, to work on this project. It is actually uh, a lot of improvements. Like I have a big list of like all the things that they want to improve. And also it's not fully 100% automated. So I am also thinking of solution on how I can automate it because each month to uh, refresh it, I do need to pull some data manually. And the data comes from an app where you have to log in and I didn't find any way yet to retrieve that data. And because of the high security, I have like um, blockage with like apps to use. 
oh yeah actually speaking of this project the way i was thinking of doing this was to use selenium and java you know just to have like data extracted and automated but again that solution wasn't working because of all the security uh, constraint so i am a little bit stuck with doing some manual lab labor with this project so if any of you guys have an idea of how i can automate this please like leave a comment i would be so appreciative because this takes me like maybe like a 10-15 minutes per month that I'm, I'm losing by doing like a manual recurring task so that would be amazing because i tried a bunch of things and every time it's like i'm hitting a wall it's like you can't do that you can't do this but you know what work is all about like learning and finding new solution even with all those restrictions i'm always able to usually find a loophole to bypass security or bypass the way of how they want things to be done and this is actually like things that i like to do at work because the the sense of accomplishment when you find a solution it's like priceless it's what makes me well, what keeps me going you know so yeah if you guys have any idea i would appreciate it so much and i would be so grateful and thankful we had a bit of a chaos today someone forgot to merge properly and now the server is broken this kind of thing happens when two people edit the same file but don't merge their changes cleanly if you're working on a shared code base you need to know some basic git command seriously this is not optional here are a few lifesavers. First, we have git pull origin main. This gets you the latest code, git status to check what's changed, git merge to combine branches. And also how to resolve merge conflict, which is when two people change the same line and git needs help deciding which version to keep. Trust me, knowing these can save you hours and hours of stress. No matter your role, basic git is a survival skill. And here why it matters. Most real world teams work across multiple environments. First, we have dev, which is development. This is your sandbox where you test, break stuff, and try out the new features. Pre-prod, also called staging, is a dress rehearsal. It's meant to stimulate production so we can catch issues before the public sees them. Lastly, we have prop, which is production. That's the life system your users interact with. If something breaks here, it's go time. When someone merges broken code and it splits past dev or pre-prod, it can impact real customers. And that's what's happened to us today. So yeah, merge carefully, test truly, and don't skip the basics. Right now, I'm working on version two of this project. And honestly, this is my favorite part of today. Version one is about getting it done. But version 2, that's where you polish, refactor, improve the user experience, and fix the things you didn't catch the first time. One thing I've learned the hard way, communication is everything. Going back and forth with client or stakeholder might feel slow, but this is such a necessary step. To make sure you have all the requirement and expectation clear before you start. The last thing you want is to redo work just because something wasn't confirmed. So always, always ask the extra questions. Clarify the why. A good tip, keep a lesson learned document during version 1. This becomes your blueprint for version 2. And use version control tools like Git. They let you branch out new features, test changes without risk, and keep your main code base stable. So version 2 isn't just a technical update, it's a second chance to get it right, make it better and deliver something you're proud of. Hey guys, I am done work for the day but I am not gonna close my laptop because I do have to refresh some data tables that are taking a long time to run and since I have to go clean up a little bit the kitchen and I'm gonna go make some food I'll still do that and keep an eye on the running queries and the running tables that I have because I am dealing with a table that has 8 million lines and that takes a lot of time to just like run. So yeah, we are done for the day almost and like maybe in like 10 minutes I'll be able to close my laptop. So yeah, that was a, a long day, but very productive, very productive. So I'm happy about myself. I'm happy about that. 
I did have to deal with some a lot of a, a lot of issues and uh, since someone recently left the team um, and me and another other colleague are taking over that person's task we are getting poked left and right uh, about like small issues like this is not running the automation failed uh, usually I receive this report at 8 a.m. what happened uh, all those like small annoying things actually in the past two months that's why I haven't been posting a lot first I did go on vacation in Japan that was amazing like honestly I needed this vacation and just before leaving for Japan I was doing uh, a lot of learning See my beauty under, <laughs> under this face mask. Now that I have this on, I'm just gonna be watching Netflix with my husband. I'm just gonna make him something to eat real quick, and then we're just gonna sit down and watch some Netflix and cuddle. <laughs> <laughs> 